Hi, my name is Frank Ordaz. Years ago, I worked for George Lucas. First movie I worked on was E.T. I worked on Return of the Jedi, Indiana Jones. The reason why I'm telling you that is I worked every day and we learned how to be very professional. And one thing, and one thing was very important, attention to detail. Michelangelo said, art is no mere trifle, but mere trifles make great art. So today, we're gonna finish off a portrait of a prairie girl. And a year ago, I was over in Nemo, Texas, and I photographed a bunch of Western reenactors. These guys were so cool. They had on their regalia, their wonderful hats, and chaps, horses. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to finish off a portrait. Get the right glint in the eye, the right sheen for the hair, how to make that lace look lacy, and how to work with dappled color, how to make something that could just be just ordinary, just come to life. The attention to detail is so important. And we're gonna do that today. The paints I'll be using are Utrecht oil paints. I love these paints. I've been using them for over 10 years. Also, the brushes are Bristles by Issa Bay and also some synthetics by Utrecht. I like these Utrecht synthetics. They really hold an edge. I can use them over and over again. So here I go. I lay in the darks first. I'm using raw umber and burnt umber for the darks, and I separate the lights from the darks. I pre-mix all my colors. Attention to detail is really important. Notice the highlight. Highlight on that lip. It really brings it out. And then the highlight on the chin. Getting the shape of the shadows is also really important. That's the attention to detail. Look at the shape, especially here from below the nose, shape by the eyebrow, even the cast shadow from the hair. All that is really important. That attention to detail, how it moves around the form. So here, we're gonna now start working on her dress. And I'm not just gonna paint one color. I'm gonna pre-mix some violets, using some viridians, some purples, some blues. I love ultramarine blue. And I'm gonna mix that and dapple the paint strokes with my yellow ochre. As you can see, I pre-mix some of these colors and I let the eye mix it. It's a lot of fun. Take your time, enjoy the process. It's gonna pay off. Now, I'm gonna add some light to some of the shadow areas. This is the area that I'm talking about, the area of attention to detail. Make it come to life. By adding some of this reflected light, I'm catching some of the bounce light from the ground she's standing on. It'll really make it look like she's outside. Notice how I don't over blend. That's also important. It gives you the vitality of the oil paints. Take your time. Don't be in a rush. I've learned over the years to enjoy the process. Next, I'm gonna start adding the lace. Now, I do use photographs, but you don't wanna be a slave to the photograph. I like the idea of part rendering, part suggestion. Just even look at the hair. I use two values for the hair. Highlight, middle value, and dark. But as, I, as you can see now, I'm adding some of the detail for the lace. And I'm just suggesting some of the little holes in the lace. Adding some buttons. And by doing that, I'm creating part of the narrative, part of the story of this prairie girl's wonderful dress, probably made by her mother. The grays are a little bit of my secret, and I'll let you know in on that secret. I add some white to a raw umber. Raw umber and white makes a wonderful gray. Try it out. And if you want to add some sparkle into that color, add some yellow ochre into that. And I'll do that as I progress on this painting. And in the shadow area, I'll add some of the holes, some of those little dappled notes. Next, I'm going to add some color into the hair. I let the first pass dry, and on the second day, I'm now going to add suggestions of the hair. 
I'm not trying to overwork it, but I'm trying to add some rich color. I'm using raw sienna, burnt umber, titanium white, and I'm just using a synthetic brush. These brushes are great for detail. Now, we're gonna come on in and show you the finished product here up until this point. Notice it's just the suggestions of the hair and the attention to detail, the shadow area. Thank you for joining me today on how to pay attention to those small details. The details are very important. All the products that I use today can be found at Blick.com. Also, some of my other videos can be found at BowlBrush.com under OrdazArt.com. Thank you. Have a good day. See you down the trail. Mm -hmm.